Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica X, where we last left off, we were playing as Chris, yes, Chris has finally made it to Rockford Island, and uh, he's dropped all of his good stuff, but that's okay, because Claire left him the assault rifle, uh, she also <laughs> left him loads of ammo, oh my god, and man, he could probably smell that item box chest a mile off, look at all that green herbage in there, um, okay, so, so, let's push on into Rockford Island. Um, I completely missed all that. Uh, dedicate a light on my right hand. It seems that I can put the stone lid down. Put it down. I. And what, oh what, do we have in there? Two submachine guns are placed here. Yep, yeah, and uh, just what we needed, guys. We have some more weapons in there for us. Lovely. Anyway, we got a worm to take out. After all, we've just met our friend Rodrigo. Or Rodrigo, I forget his name. Doesn't matter, he's been eaten by a worm. Let's go dig his carcass out. We'll use our AK. Because we'll just rattle off a few rounds every few minutes. Uh, we need him to actually pop out of the ground to attack him. There we go. Eat lead, you fucking monster. Let's go. Ooh, you sneaky little bar steward. He does like to nip at your heels. Now, he actually can do a pretty decent uh, amount of damage to you. Ah, you shit. And I've never really understood where he pops out. He just seems to come out wherever the hell he likes. Uh, I don't think I've ever done this cleanly. Ah, nice. Blow that out of your ass, dude. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. There we go, there we go. Suck it down. Ooh, ooh. He's trying to, trying to trip me up there. He's going for the old sweep the leg. Whoa, God. Hello. We got him. We got him. Tried to sweep my leg. Ooh. Good night, gulp worm. Uh, uh, hold on! Don't give up! <laughs> Looks like I can meet my family again. Here. Take this. What? She gave this to me. As a token of thanks for saving her. I won't need it anymore. Take it. Cheers, buddy. Uh, although, I'm not entirely convinced that he's going to be going anywhere good in the afterlife. Um, I mean, he was the, like, prison senior prison officer or something for this island so although he's being all buddy buddy to Chris now he would have been quite happy to uh, have Claire wheeled off to bloody Dr. Death's weird dungeon so he could slowly peel her skin off while she was alive so you'll forgive me if I uh, don't give two shits about this guy anyway let's go back to our item box and go get our SMGs as well Ah, uh, lovely. Yeah, I always thought that was a little bit weird. I mean, okay, he did let her go. That's true. But he didn't really have a huge amount of choice. I mean, he was going to die anyway. And the only reason he let her go was because he... Oh, right. Because he didn't actually think she had a, a hope in hell of surviving. Let's let's just get that shit straight right now. Uh, we'll keep that. Let's go just pile this on with the rest of our herbs. Uh, we don't need the AK anymore. Well, I mean, not for a while anyway. Um, right, let's go have a smoke and get out of here. Okay. Ingrams, please. Thank you. Now these, uh, these are interesting weapons. We've already used them as Chris. 
Ingram, 38 caliber submachine gun. Yeah, I don't think we can, nah, we don't get any reloads for this. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll be honest, I actually prefer the other handguns that we get over those. They're just, I don't know. They're, yeah, they're, the M100Ps, I definitely prefer those over this. It's just, these just feel, they feel gutless. Kind of like the AK, the AK, I mean the AK, you know, 762, it should be a very raw and powerful feeling weapon, but it just kind of isn't. Anyway. Uh, what? Graves. Some of them are very old. These could be the early residents of the island. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so that mouse that, uh, or that rat that we saw in the prior video was actually kind of like a main hidden comedy character in this game, which I didn't know until Chris mentioned, uh, Chaotic Gaming mentioned, um, what he was about, and I looked him up, and he's actually a secret character. There's also a video on YouTube, if you search him, he's called DJT or something, I think? Uh, the name escapes me right now. But he's in a lot of cutscenes in the background. And you'll notice, uh, I didn't realize this, but I actually saw him on the plane. Uh, I was wondering what that white blob thing was uh, hidden on the shelf. And that was him. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. But there's actually a hidden diary that he's written. And he does explain uh, a lot of the encounters and a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes in that diary. It's really interesting. Oh, I just executed that zombie right in the back of the head. Good night. Uh oh. So Chris's handgun is more powerful. Ugh, kind of. I mean, it doesn't really feel that much more powerful, but... Every now and again, you just, you do notice it a little bit. Right, so we need to get this lift working, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, the battery's been removed. It has. Yes, the battery has indeed been removed. Let's go and have a little look at that, shall we? Right, so what do we have out here? We have a tank. That's nice. Shame we can't just fire this bastard up and get going. Then we'll give uh, Alex, or Alfred. I always want to call him Alex, I don't know why. It's really annoying. Um, yes, the Ashfords right kick up the ass with this thing. Probably shred a tyrant or two as well. Right, let's get me some bullets. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of bullets. Like, seriously, we're going to get a lot of bullets. This game is about to start throwing them at us left and right. Now, we got this cool little corridor. You remember, this is the corridor that Alfred actually ran from. Uh, in the beginning, this is where he went to his hangar bay. Now, I'm hoping you can see this on YouTube. Because I have kind of upped the brightness a little bit. I can't see this, but I know it's here. We've got some shotgun shells. We've got a green herb and a blue herb, I believe. Lovely. Very nice. Now we're gonna go up and grab this. And as soon as we grab this, we're gonna get some new friendarinos. Yep. Hello. I love that cutscene. The way that thing breaks out of that. That looks so cool. Yeah, they really mixed the spiders up in this one. They made them a much bigger threat, that's for sure. They're definitely uh, a little bit more uh, pant moistening in this, let's just say that. Um, cool, let's start grabbing all these goodies. Notice how we're getting some shotgun shells. Yes, some, some tasty shotgun shells. Very nice. Uh, that might indicate, just maybe, that we might get a shotgun later. Spoiler, we're getting a shotgun later. You know, what else will we use those for? Uh, right, we've got some more herbage here. What are these blue herbs? There's actually a herb planter in here, a blue herb planter. So, I mean, you know. 
you're really that worried about getting poisoned. Which I guess makes sense because there's, you know, a rather nasty um, load of spiders outside. But that's fine. Okay. We are going to drop you down there. Like so. Uh, what should we do? Right, let's go open this. Now, this is a secret. This will unlock uh, Steve in the uh, battle mode. And I can't remember the... I think it's red. Green. Blue. Yeah, okay. And then uh, we hit the brown draw. And we get a Luger replica. Very nice. Yeah, that will allow us to play as Chris in the battle game. So, I don't think you, no, you don't use this replica for anything. Because that puzzle is, like, entirely optional. You can't do anything with it either. Like, you can't use it. It's just, well, a pointless weapon. Anyway, um, right, what do we need now? Uh, yeah, you know what, let's go get our shotgun, shall we? We can go up. We'll go up there. Let's get up here. Because this is a bad area to linger around in. We'll probably kill those spiders later, maybe. Don't really want to fight those spiders with a uh, handgun. Because you're going to have a bad time. We've got the battery now, so we can go upstairs. And I've gone right around the houses with that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? We'll do that. We shall indeed do that. Um, now, let's go back to the lift. Now, I always think this is a bit weird. Look how Chris puts his battery in. Notice how the battery terminals aren't actually connected to anything. So, whether it's wirelessly powering this lift, and I don't think you can send that much current over a wireless uh, power supply, but what do I know? Uh, chemical storage key, which we we'll certainly have. There is a file. Report. Enhanced anti-decay alloy. Hmm. Although we plan to utilize the enhanced anti-decay alloy called Defloid to create the storage capsules of the new BOW, we have had to cancel the plan. This is primarily based upon the fact that despite its excellent resistance to all kinds of liquids, including strong acid, it is easily dissolved when soaked with a mixture of the two chemicals, Clement Alpha and Clement uh, Epsilon. Yeah. Um, due to the lethal nature of the new BOW, we cannot be too careful in choosing the material for the storage capsule. We have instead decided to use Deploid to create the eagle portion of the eagle plate, which shines an indigo blue. Clement information. The alpha type is used for gun maintenance and possesses no uh, conspicuous characteristics. However, the omega, did I say omega? Ah, type will change its color to blue at a certain temperature. Uh, this is a odd coincidence that the temperature is exactly the same as the date of completion of this training facility. Yes, remember that? It was 12.08. Based on our analysis, the E-type, we believe, that Cl uh, Clement possesses more features. Anyway, based upon our analysis of the E-type, we believe that Clement possesses more features. As new information is learned, we'll update this file. Yeah. Yeah. Nasty chemicals. So, I guess we're going to be fiddling and mixing with chemicals. Mm -mm -mm. Right, let's see. So... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Notice the herbs, notice the herbs. Who is that? Alexia? No! She's already fully awake. Chris, oh little fishy, come see my hook. Chris. <laughs> I'm sending some company to keep you entertained. Oh, little fishy. Oof. Oof. There she is. Consider this a small welcoming gift from me. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, I love Wesker. I love Wesker. <laughs> 
<laughs> he loves it, man. He loves his job. Look, yeah, you notice in that cut, see, there's two herbs there. Uh, there, no, there, there, there's no herbs there. Um, okay, so we want to go to the elevator. Yes, because we want to go downstairs and get the shotgun. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> I love, oh, I love Wesker so much. He's just like laughing in absolute hysterics over the fact that he's just going to get um, Chris completely and utterly disemboweled. Oh, you, you know, you've got to appreciate somebody that loves their job. Um, right, so think. What's the best method around here? Um, I guess we could go under now. Grab the shotgun. Because we're going... We're going to need the shotgun. No, you know what? We're going to go... We need to be a little bit careful with item storage. Let's go get the side pack. Yeah, we'll go get the side pack. All right. Okay. Let's go, Chris. Chris! Ah, oh, so good. Hey, friendarinos. Get out of here. Hey. Oi. You greedy, greedy little git bag. You're getting up? Wow. Zombie tank of the year. Yes, I was going to say, hopefully we can hit that one in the back because he's wearing an explosive device. You can't hit his explosive device. Whoa. It didn't kill him? I've never seen a zombie survive that before. Well, okay then. Yeah, let's grab the side pack. Slap that on. Yeah, we actually need to go through there, but we can't go through there just yet because we need... Ah, he's on top of them. Because we need um, the door handle. And to go get the door handle, we need to go downstairs. But there's actually quite a few items downstairs, so I want to come up and get the side pack first. Okay, so let's go back down to the basement. Hmm. Hopefully we don't run into a hunter or ten. Yeah, hunters in this game are pretty gnarly. I mean, they're not Resident Evil 3 Remake gnarly. But they certainly uh, will kick you in the ass. And detach your nutsack if you're not uh, too careful. Which is not really what you want, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure somebody probably wants that, but, you know, I have seen the Pain Olympics. Now, let's go examine this. Examine the mouth. There will give us some ammo. Very nice. This is what I'm saying. You see? Can you see? Can you see the issue here? The game is literally throwing handgun bullets at us. And ink ribbons, for that matter. There are so many ink ribbons. Like, we're, I mean, we're going to be pushing 30 by the time we get out of here. And there she is, the shotgun. The sweet, delicate, delicious shotgun. Oh, God. The Zombo head removal tool. Yes. Now, unfortunately, we do have to put it back in a minute, but... It is a Spaz 12. Nice automatic shotgun. Developed by the French. Lovely weapon. Okay, let's go. Uh, we've got a zombie over here, haven't we? Hey, friend. You want to get up? Sure you do. Definitely don't want this rotting pile of flesh stinking up this water too long. Oh, you want some more? Cheeky. Oh, right in the throat. Yeah, you know he's dead because he'll raise to the... F there we go. His ass floats. Okay, so what else have we got? We have two red herbs. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, yeah, let's go drop some stuff off. Now, this will link us back up to our new save room under the tank. But unfortunately, we have spiders everywhere. Probably could kill those spiders, but... Eh, maybe later. Maybe later. Are we on 20 minutes already? When did that happen? 
Jesus. Uh, right, so let's drop these puppies back. Like so. Good God, herbs. Herbs. Oh, red herbs, green herbs, blue herbs. You want herbs? We got herbs. We got herbs in such quantities. Forget about it. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll drop these back too. We've got 26 save ribbons. And we haven't exactly been frugal with them, have we? Jesus Christ. I think this game's easier than I remember. It, uh, I think um, Reaver actually said it himself. It, this game has this illusion that it's, you know, uh, in the fan base of it being quite hard. Because it doesn't give you a difficulty choice. Um, you know. So you just assume the standard difficulty is going to be pretty rough. Oh, you son of a fucking bitch. That's fine. You dick penis man. Uh, yeah, and the fact that this game really does start off very, very rough. Uh, it's savage in the beginning. You know, is there anything here, actually? I don't think so. No, it's very savage, you know. Um, the game gives you a good amount of ammo, but the trouble is there's so many enemies. Uh, and, you know, if you're an OG Resident Evil fan and you'd played all of the games up until this point, you probably wouldn't be aware. And I've got to take my fucking hoodie off, guys. It's roasting in this room. Um, you wouldn't be aware most likely, of just how good the knife is. The knife is a very, very capable weapon in this game. And as I've kind of demonstrated here, if you know the game fairly well, which I guess I do, uh, you know, I wouldn't say I'm an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I know what I'm doing. Um, you can save so much ammo. And as with all Resident Evil games, it just towards, you know, halfway through the game or whatever, it really just, just starts throwing ammo at you. Now, what could possibly be in these tubes? Hmm. Nothing good. I thought hunters, I think, when I originally played this. Uh, or tyrants, maybe. No. Nope. It is a control panel. Let's push the switch. Nice uh, assault rifle magazine there. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ah, uh, yes. Um, wait, item space. Right, we're okay. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> there's a doorknob there. Uh, there's also that gunpowder up there, but we can't get it yet. That is... I've, Pretty sure that's the last gunpowder in the game. Um, yeah, don't touch the doorknob yet. Hands off the knob. Because we're going to go through here. Antibacterial work clothes are stored here. Yes, they are. Uh, we don't need any of that. I love those doors. Love the sounds they make as well. Oof, very nice. Um, we have some shotgun shells, which, you know, never going to say no to a, to a box of shotgun shells. We have some more handgun ammo, because why not? I guess. And there's a herb. Is that a... Oh, it's a red herb. Oh, right. Wait a minute. Isn't there a, a green herb in here? Uh, it's very dark. No. No. No, I don't think there's a green herb in here. Okay. Right, the chemical warehouse is locked. Use the chemical storage key. Aight. You no longer need this key. Then throw it away, my son. Throw it away. Can't tell which of these is useful. Set the temperature. Aight. Now, we're going to set to... Oh, we... Ooh, we can really make this a touch on the warm side, couldn't we? Now, of course, if we'd seen that uh, memo before, it, uh, the date of the um, training facility's completion uh, is very important. And interestingly, that it's used quite a bit later on in the game. But there we go. Right. 
And there she is, Indigo Blue. Clement. Let's go. Um, right, so we've got... Oop. Oh, there's the herb right there. I knew there was another herb in there. I could literally... It's so bloody hard to see, honestly. That's a blue herb, though. I could have sworn there's a green in here. Am I wrong? I guess so. I have to have a look. It's so fucking dark, guys, honestly. Like, um, I've brightened my monitor up quite a lot, and I've turned the auto black uh, level. It's got, like, this dynamic contrasting on this monitor, which looks really quite nice, but it makes this game black. Black as the night. I'm not even kidding. I thought my really old TV made this game look dark, but no. This is truly dark. Okay. Anyway, see what I mean by, like, we, we kind of really did need to get that side pack before we came down here. Anywho, let's go touch this knob in the corner. Uh-oh. That's what you get for touching knobs, I guess. Here he comes. Or he comes, it comes. Ooh, I like hunters in this game. Ooh, God. Let's take them out of the shotgun. Notice how they can actually tank a shotgun shell. Doesn't always make them go flying backwards, does it? Oof. Now, don't let that little display fool you there. They really can detach a testicle or two if you let them get too close. They really can. Right. Not bad, though. Not bad. Let's get out of here. Uh, now we can go reattach the knob to the door. Shame uh, Baz is not around here, because he's pretty good at fixing doors. Fixing doors and rescuing children. That's what our friend Bazza generally gets up to. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, we pro yeah, we, mm, yeah, we're going to need to go back, to be honest. Uh, right. Because we want to go back up to the lift and we want to go back through the uh, destroyed area. Repair the doorknob. And then we can get to another area, but... First, we really need to thin out our inventory because, my god, we're carrying some stuff. Do I want to kill these spiders? Uh, the thing is, these spiders aren't going to be here for too much longer. They will get replaced. Um, we'll put the magazine back. We will... We'll, we'll dump the shotgun shells. Uh, shall we... Yeah, let's load the shotgun up first. Because we've got to put the shotgun back now anyway, but... We might as well load the bad boy... Right up before we have to put the puppy back. Um, yeah. More herbs. Too many herbs. Too many herbs. Some more bowgun rounds. Definitely got too many of those. I'd rather trade some of this bowgun ammo. Or something a little bit more useful. We'll keep the Clement on us. Right. Okay. Let's go dump the shotgun back. Get back up. Oh, we should... Oh. Yeah, we've got to put the shotgun back anyway. What are we on? On like half an hour. Actually, I might have to call it here because we might not get near a save spot. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll, we'll call it here. Oh, fuck me, guys. What happened to that video? I swear... I swear I pushed record 30 seconds ago and we're already at the end. That's how you know you're enjoying the game. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.